Hello, I'm Tony Minchell from Teledyne LaCroix. I want to talk to you today about the Wave Surfer 3000. It's available in four channel models or two channel with bandwidths from 200 megahertz to 750 megahertz. It's got a 10.1 inch touchscreen, so I can pop up my menus. It also has a connector for adding digital channels. This is optional and gives you an optional 16 digital channels. I also have an overlay here, which I can use for controlling the time base and the sensitivity of the channels. The WaveSurfer 3000 also has advanced triggering, advanced math, measurements, statistics, histocons, and other capabilities built in as standard. I'd like to show you what's on the back. When I turn this around, we can see the connectors we've got. We have the USB, LAN, VGA, the optional function generator, trigger in, trigger out, memory card, and also Kensington lock security point. What comes with WaveSurfer 3000? There's a what's in the box guide, a hard front cover, calibration certificate, getting started manual, power cord, and a set of probes. I want to show you the advanced measurement capability. If I select measurement, I see that I have a lot of measurements within the scope. I can select any of these. They'll automatically be added to my menu and I can then close the menu and I can see those measurements. If I open the measurements window again, I can turn on statistics and histocons and I can then see the statistics for my measurement as well as the small histograms showing the distribution of my data. The advanced math, which I can bring up, shows a table of all the capabilities. These can be shown in the table format or as a list. When in the list, the icon is shown along with a description next to it. I can look through the list and select any of these math operators. The WaveSurfer 3000 can decode serial buses. It can decode I2C, SPI, UART, CAN and LIN. I've got an I2C waveform here and I'll show you how this works. I've caught two channels. I've got a yellow data and I've got a pink which is the clock. I'm going to start by turning the clock off. I need to make sure I've caught it, but I don't need to see it. So I'm going to select the channel 2, the pink channel, turn that off. Go into channel 1, which is my data, and I'm going to now go into my decoders. I can take a look and I can see a selection of decoders. I'm going to select I squared C. I'm going to turn it on and I'm also going to link it to the trigger so that we can also trigger an I squared C. We can now see an overlay. This is the decode overlay which is colour coded. So you can see colouring of red for the address section and you can see the blue section is the data. I'm now going to have a look at the trigger. So if I come into the trigger menu that's now serial specific, in this case, in this case I squared C. We can see the different selections here, and I can select any one of these. At the moment, the address plus data is selected. That means I can set up an address to trigger on. I can also set a specific data value to trigger on. When I'm setting data values, I can select the exact value. I can select it as bytes, or I can select it as multiple bytes. I can select the part within the data field that it is in, and I can also have it equal to that, less than, greater than, inside or outside of a range. It's a very comprehensive debugging tool. The advanced triggers are standard within the WaveSurfer 3000. We've got the edge trigger, we've got the width trigger, and as I select each trigger, you can see that you set it up from left to right. We've got qualified. One event qualified by another. We've got pattern for setting up of logic channels. TV for setting up of TV triggering. Serial for setting up the serial triggering. We also have smart triggering. When we select smart triggering, we get some additional triggers. There's a window trigger. 
there's an interval trigger. There's a dropout trigger. There's a runt trigger. There's a slew rate trigger. These are the advanced triggers that are standard in the WaveSurfer 3000. The WaveSurfer 3000 has an optional waveform generator. If I come into Utilities, I can go into Waveform Generator, then I can see I have Sine, Square, Triangle, Pulse, DC, Noise and Arbitrary Waveforms to choose from. I can also choose the Frequency, Amplitude and Offset. In the Arbitrary, I can also read in CSV files up to a maximum of 16K bytes. The WaveSurfer 3000 also has an optional DVM. This is a free option. To get this option, you just need to register your WaveSurfer 3000 on the Teledyne LaCroix website. If I show you the option, I've got it here, DVM. Brings up my DVM. I've got different measurements I can make with this. I can see these measurements popped up here. I can turn on the DVM. I can then have my DVM measurement on. I can then go back, make measurements on my channel, and my DVM measurement remains on the screen. To summarize the WaveSurfer 3000, there's models from 200 megahertz to 750 megahertz. Each model has 10 mega points per channel. They all have a 10.1 inch touchscreen. There's the options for digital channels, which can be added. That adds 16 digital channels. Optional function generator, optional serial decode, it also has advanced triggering built in as standard. It has advanced measurements with statistics and histograms. And it has advanced math with multiple math operators which can be cascaded. Thank you very much for watching.